Yo people, welcome back to the channel. So Tiafimo Lopez has stated that he hopes to take on the winner of Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez. Lopez said, the main guy I do want to win from that fight is Josh Taylor. He expressed his interest in facing Josh Taylor, stating, I would love to do that fight in the UK. Lopez versus Taylor could happen this year if everything goes to plan for Lopez. He's looking to have two fights at £135 and then one at £140 in 2021. Who would you favour in that fight? Let me know in the comments. Would you favour Tiafimo Lopez, the guy moving up from £135, or Josh Taylor being the king at £140 if he were to beat Jose Ramirez? So it looks like Tiafimo Lopez wants all of the smoke. He's been doing a lot of talking recently. I hope he can back it up and actually get in the ring with some of these guys. Only days ago, it seemed as though Lopez would face his mandatory challenger, George Camposos. Next, however, it looks as though Lopez wants Cambosis to step aside in order to secure a more lucrative fight with Devin Haney. And as much as I rate George Cambosos, I believe a fight between Lopez and Haney holds more significance in the lightweight division. Therefore, I'd be more than happy to see that fight instead, even if Lopez has to drop the IBF title in order to do so. If you were in Lopez's position, who would you choose to fight next? Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the matter. If I was Lopez, I'd try to start, uh, sidestep George Cambosis just based on the fact that that fight's not going to do good numbers. You know, people in the US don't know George Cambosos. I mean, people in the US hardly know Tiafimo Lopez. So he's going to have to go out there and fight one of these guys like Devin Haney, who himself isn't a big name, but he's going to have to fight one of these guys. Try and beat Devin Haney to give him some leverage to negotiate with the likes of Tank Davis or Ryan Garcia, who are the bigger names in the lightweight division so if i was lopez i'd definitely go for haney especially when he says he's only going to have two fights at 135 pounds and then he's going to move up to 140 you know you've got to make those two fights big ones and if you can defeat haney and then later this year fight either ryan garcia or tank davis then that makes his career at 135 pounds more worthwhile and will create a bigger name for himself if he were to fight those guys instead of the likes of George Cambosis, who is a good fighter. And if Lopez were to beat Cambosis, it would look good in his resume, in my opinion. But to the wider boxing, you know, boxing fans and, and the general public, especially in the United States, they don't know who George Cambosis is, but they do know who Javante Davis is, Ryan Garcia is, etc. So if he were to fight one of those guys and beat them, then it would be more worth his while. So yeah guys, like the video if you did enjoy it, subscribe to the channel for daily boxing news and turn on post notifications to stay notified whenever I upload a video.